What's up everyone, Jack from Half Chrome. Today I've got something interesting. It is the Tello Complete Package uh, that I got from Banggood. And I've got not just the Tello here, but the GameSir T1 Remote. This is the one that DJI recommends. So we're gonna take a look at it and compare it to the Mad Cats Remote that we reviewed earlier. Not only that, but I'm also gonna put on my Xiaomi Wi-Fi extender and see how that fares with the remote uh, to give us a little bit more range and we're going to check out this Talls app. This Talls app is supposed to allow Artello to get up to 30 meters of altitude. That's up from 20 meters, which it is currently limited to. So let's check it out. All right, so let's talk about how to set this up. Step one, I don't like flying with prop guards, so I'm going to take them off. Okay, prop guards are off. Let's get started. All right, step one is to turn the Tello on, and we're gonna do that by pushing uh, this button here. And when you do, you'll see the light on the front start blinking. One, once it's blinking, then you connect to the Wi-Fi. I'm using an iPhone 6 today. We're gonna connect to the Tello Wi-Fi. Once we do, then we're gonna go into our Talls app and make sure that we set the altitude. All right, so we're going into our Talls app here, right? Inside there, you'll see there's a slider to slide what I want to set my altitude at. You can see I've slid it all the way to 30, and then I'm going to send that information to the Tello. Once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and open my Tello app, and once I do, you can see that it's active. Now, you'll notice that on the screen here, we have the virtual joysticks. Now, to get rid of the virtual joysticks, I need to connect my Bluetooth remote. In order to connect the game server, the first thing you need to do is turn it on. But because I'm using an iOS device, I have to make sure it's in iOS mode. In order to do that, I'm going to hold down this button here on the top, this power button. Um, it says home and the Y button, and that'll move it to the Apple setting. If you're on Android, it generally is defaulted that way, um, but I believe X and home will get you to Android. All right, I got it powered on. I'm going to put my phone on the nice little holder here. Then I'm going to click on the settings icon and inside the settings icon I see Bluetooth controller settings. Right? I click on Bluetooth controller settings and I'll see GameSir show up right there. Okay? As you can see on the screen it says GameSir. I clicked on I click on that and it's connected. It's actually really pretty darn simple. Now once it is connected you'll see that the on-screen joysticks disappear which is which is fine. Uh, but you're going to want to get a quick rundown of what all the buttons do. So if I go back to the Bluetooth controller settings, and I click Game Controller Diagram, it'll give me a nice diagram of what my settings are. Now I'm ready to fly. Before we do, let's take a quick look at this remote versus the Mad Cats remote that we are using earlier. Here we got both remotes side by side. You can see the Mad Cats is a shiny plastic. I really like the grip and the feel of the GameSir remote. It is definitely higher quality. Uh, it, has, it looks a lot like a PlayStation remote. feels like a PlayStation remote, so if you're used to that, you're going to like this one. I also like the phone holding mechanism a little bit better. It folds in and out on the GameSir. Uh, this one I have to uh, manually screw on and take off. Another issue I had with the Mad Cats remote, in order to fly it and get good video, I had to use my Xiaomi Wi-Fi range extender. Okay, so let's get this thing up in the air. All right, so we're gonna fly the Tello around with the GameSir remote. I wanna remind you, this is not a full review of the Tello. We have done a full review of the Tello. Everything you wanna know, how it flies, the modes, the video, the pictures, the quality, everything total in-depth review of the Tello you can check that out here now here it is flying you can see I'm using the game sir it does give me some control um, with that tactile feel of the remote that I don't have with the on-screen display with the app but it is a tiny bit laggy so I, I'm gonna confess I did hit a tree uh, not here but I did uh, just because it isn't quite as precise it is good though. I do like it. It has a good feel. It's manageable after flying for a while. I really did get the hang of it and kind of understood the lag in the input. Now we're going to take the Tello up. You're going to see the altitude rise kind of slowly. Keep your eye on the altimeter there in the app. We're going to get it up over 30 like I promised using the Talls app. So 
the app is running in the background, which is going to allow us to get even higher than the 20 meters, which we're already almost at. Now, I was using the Mi Wi-Fi extender here, which is why my video quality through the app is a little bit not so great, right? You'll see it kind of cuts in and out. Taking that off solves that issue, flies fantastic without it. 29 meters and 30, we got it. Now, it is kind of hard to to control up there and it's going to tell me I need to land as you see so we do. Alright so we did some flying and some crashing of the Tello with the remote, without the remote, with the extender, without the extender so what are the results? Well I do like the GameSir T1 remote uh, better than the Mad Cats that we use. It had nice feel, nice touch but it tends to be a tiny bit laggy. It is not as precise as the on-screen controls that you get in the Tello app. It is a fantastic app. I highly recommend that you use it. That said, there is something to use a physical remote. I really liked it, especially when I was up and away from trees and I didn't have the issues of bumping into things and losing props and crashing to the ground. So if you really want a physical remote, it is probably better than the Mad Cat's quality of my video did not get worse when I was using the game Sir, uh, which was the case with the Mad Cat's. I had used the Xiaomi uh, Wi Fi range extender. Now, I tried using the Xiaomi Wi Fi range extender with the remote, and that actually caused issues. I would not use the Xiaomi Wi Fi range extender when I'm flying with the game Sir remote. Almost necessary with the Mad Cat's to bring up that video quality, and I was getting high interference issues flying with this and the game sir but if you opt to fly your tello without a remote and it's pretty darn good without it then this is something definitely you want to take a look at i do like the remote when flying but personally i'm going to stick to the app and save myself 35 bucks it's just not quite as precise enough for me but if you do want a physical remote the game sir is probably top notch the game sir t1 is a pretty solid remote it's probably the best it's the one that dji recommends um, unless you want to go with the game vice and spend almost 80 or 90 dollars on something like that which i don't recommend for a 99 dollars drone the tals app was a nice addition um, it allowed me to take that tello higher than 20 meters if you're going higher than 20 meters it's going to drift this is not a gps drone so it might be a good way to lose your tello so keep uh, an eye on that tello do not fly it high in wind but if you just need to get a little bit higher than 20 meters the Tals app is a great free way to give you a little bit more height when you're flying your Tello. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on halfchrome.com.